I told you guys a story when I was at University of Kentucky. I remember when I was 22 years old, 21, something like that. And I was riding my bike to work. I had a job at Arby's. This was back in my broke, super broke days. I, I spent a lot of years being super broke. Um, and I'm not broke anymore, but I spent a lot of years being broke. So the one day I would not have to be broken. I remember when, during my super broke days, I had a job at Arby's and I was on my bike. And, I, and at this time, this was back when Bill Clinton was getting elected as president. And it was a big deal. Everybody thought Bill Clinton was going to be the white Jesus. He was the original Joe Biden. He was the original Barack Obama. Uh, you know, the same hope and change and nonsense that they feed you now. They fed us back then. Same scare tactics, same everything. Well, at that time, I was different. I was more of a Democrat, heavy Democrat, not a Democrat anymore, not a Republican, uh, more libertarian, but I'm not even 100% libertarian because I, I don't think that libertarianism always works in every situation. But here's the deal. So I'm on my bike and I'm thinking, OK, I got to vote today. You know, they told us if you don't vote, you don't count. Voting is extremely important. Didn't quite understand exactly how my people would benefit from voting directly, but I was just told to do it. So I was going to do what I was told, which is pretty much what we do. We're very good at doing what we're told. So I got on my bike and I was headed to uh, the polling station, which was on, on my way to my job at Arby's. The problem was this. It was it, I had to be at work by four and it was about three fifty two. And I said, man, if I ride my bike as soon as I can, I can still get to Arby's by four. And I need that job. If I don't get show up to the job, I'm get in trouble. I might lose my job. And, but I but I need to vote because I was told that it was my job to make sure I vote, put this white man in office because this white man is going to be the savior for my community. Right. Bill Clinton's going to make everything better for black people. Right. Um, which which didn't happen. Right. He put he, he assisted Joe Biden in incarcerating more black men in the history of all of, of America. But, you know, but at that time, he was we were taught to we, we still to, you know always voted against our interests. So I here's what I thought in, in my little 21 year old mind. I said, you know what? If I get fired from my job, Bill Clinton is not going to show up and pay my bills. If I if I lose my job tomorrow and none of these politicians who are, you know, who are telling me I have to vote, who are telling me to disrupt my life to support them, none of them are going to disrupt their lives to support me. Right? I said, man, you know what? Bill Clinton can get himself in office. I got to get to my job. I, I got to vote myself president of my life right now and handle my business as a sovereign entity and make sure I get this rent paid. Because if I don't, I'm, I'm going to be stuck out here in the street with, with no opportunities and no money. And that's what it was. It was that basic. It was me saying. You know, do, does this person really care about my interest first or do they care about their own interest first? And if they don't put my interest first, then why should I put their interest first? So what I'm saying to you is this. Look, I'm not here to tell you how to vote and all this other crazy stuff. It, this ain't what the conversation is about. I'm here to explain to you that the stimulus checks are not coming because your politicians are selfish. The stimulus checks are not coming because your politicians are not thinking about you. The stimulus checks are not coming because your politicians are too busy taking care of their own agenda that they don't have time to support your agenda.